burning question in the room right now. We've been talking about the Jaguars for a little while here. They got this workhorse, first round draft pick, generational talent, generational talent that they got on their team. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> There's still a ton of haters out there who this guy, you know, for whatever reason, can't do anything right. Can't do anything right. He can't catch it. Well, he proved that wrong. He can't play in the NFL. Prove that wrong. He's not fast. He's, you know, I don't know what what these people are. Whatever they whatever they got, I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand it either. I, same I didn't guys even that told think, you to trade Todd Gurley. Sorry, right? Same guy said trade Todd Gurley. Uh, I don't understand it. I I don't even think that it's worth wasting breath on talking about Leonard Fournette because like y'all should just be in consensus that Leonard Fournette is freaking awesome, but. That's not the consensus. So right. let's let's go in on some Leonard Fournette. I, well, I think I think you know I, I've stated it before, and it was my my only caution kind of coming into drafting him higher than I did in a startup w- was the fact that there is a little bit of an ankle injury kind of thing. But I don't even how many has he missed any games because of that issue? Maybe one. He was suspended. They okay. didn't let him play one, and I think he might have missed one from injury. But and and he definitely doesn't look fully healthy out there because I don't think he's quite as as just explosive as he was in the beginning of the sure. season but he's still gutting it out and he's like how I many mean, running backs who are getting that many carries are completely healthy by right. week so 15 let me I got a quick question we're we're trying to figure out if Leonard Fournette's good at fantasy football right right my man is averaging 18 points a week yeah so like I'm good. We can. St- We're not trying to Why? figure it out. I know. Like I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand where people are missing missing the boat here. On a team where we just got done talking about how Blake Bortles should have easy time throwing the ball because they're stacking the box against this man. Exactly. Like, could you imagine if Leonard Fournette was in the situation that Alvin Kamara was in, and Drew Brees was his quarterback, and they got this decent, this pretty good offensive line, and you got Michael Thomas out wide, and right. you can't stack the boxes against him. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, oh. They didn't throw it to him at LSU, so there's no way he can catch it. He can catch it just fine. Yeah, and he, he he's can, making one-handed catches and stuff out there. He looks awesome in the passing game. Eighteen right. points a game. Yeah, you don't do that without mm-hmm. being really, really good. Right. And, they don't just hand out fantasy points to running backs. Sometimes they hand out fantasy points to wide receivers. Yeah, but not running backs. Not in this league. You have to earn them to get them. So with the ankle and foot thing, people are some people take it as a negative about how much usage he's getting. Like that's that's just like what everybody is looking for in volume. Your, vo- yeah, right? I want, can you not as many carries as you can give my guy? Give him I all the it. carries you can give him, and then throw it to him a couple more times. Shit, yeah, that's, that's crushing. What, it don't in the you want game. A, opportunity drives fantasy points? Right. If you cannot get the ball in your hands, you cannot score fantasy points. It's really funny how that works. If you don't touch the ball, you don't get any points. Right. But Eight. when opportunity meets talent, it's 18 points a game. 18 points a game. With with a, with stack boxes where nobody with with a quarterback about that people are trying to get rid of. Nobody's fearful of Blake Bortles beating him down the field and which the last couple of weeks he's done, I will say versus the Colts he's he's like his quarterback rating lifetime is like 120 and he's just he's never lost to the Colts and he torches them which was the game or two before this one that he played really well in. But then he played good against a beat up Seattle team on the road in his home area. But well, the Colts hadn't had anybody to play on defense. that right. was any good since Blake Bortles came into the league other than Vontae Davis. All right. Well, let's get down to brass tacks. Right. Here. Cause Fournette's awesome. We love them. <laughs> get down to brass tacks. What does that mean? Yes or no. So top awesome. five, let's we'll start with top 10. Yes. Let's start with top 10. Is he in your top 10 dynasty running backs? Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking lutely. How could he not be right? So let's move in. Let's go top five. Let's see if we can get him into the top five, right? So let's just name off maybe the top four, and you can put them in any order you want to. The easy uh, top four. David Johnson, Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley, Zeke Elliott. Boom. You can put that in any order you want. That's personally my order. You can move Zeke up further if you want. You could whatever. Is anyone disagreeing that those would be the top four? Not no. arguing. All right. So then. Number five. A lot of people would argue with you about how bad Todd Gurley is, but right, probably should have traded him. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. We got to do it on every single podcast because there were people early in the year telling you to trade Todd Gurley, and we were like, "What is wrong with you?" Yeah, no, it's just, and he just kept crushing goes. just every single week. Right, anyway, so- Todd Gurley definitely top five. Who's who? Are you going to put in that fifth spot? I, I'm I'm I think I got to go Devontae Freeman in that five spot. What 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 do y'all think? 
I could I I love Devontae Freeman. I love what he does, staying on the field, staying healthy, concussions, uh being withheld from that c- comment. Um I could back up Devontae Freeman just a little bit with the fact that his, you know, running mate is take his earned himself a couple of those catches that Devontae Freeman was getting two years ago. Devontae Freeman's upside isn't what it was once was, but Devontae Freeman is has just been consistent and he's a beast on a good offense. But I could I could I could take Leonard Fournette over Devontae Freeman. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm with you. I think I, I got I got Fournette probably at five. Yeah, there's nobody coming in taking plays away from Fournette. Fournette, like if, if if nothing else, Tevin Coleman deserves some touches and some looks, and they factor him into that passing game, and it's it's hurt. It's it's middled to both just a little bit. In fact, they actually I think Devontae Freeman's only averaging like thirteen and a half points a game this year, and, and Tevin Coleman's twelve and a half. So they're they're closer, and um, I, I saw that that to me brings down. Freeman just a little bit, but it's the strength of the running back position that's come alive that that would bring Freeman down instead of him earning his way down the list. Some people earn their way in front of him, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I still no, like I Freeman that's... a ton. I just don't. I won't. I won't. Have, don't have to keep him up there. I like your take on boobies. <laughs> I like boobies. It's a me, good. It's a good take. Me too, kid. <laughs> So one of the best takes you could possibly have. Yeah. Um, so but I, I mean, the take on uh, why he'd, why he'd bump maybe Devontae Freeman down a little bit, I get it. Yeah. No. I mean, and then basically in those in the in the spots that I could fill with Fournette out of the five, I guess you could. I don't have a problem if you want to put Dalvin Cook in at five. D- I mean, do you? I'm not. I'm, I just sure. I, I'm, well, I'm really I, okay with that. I think I personally am in in Fournette's camp, but. I don't have any problem with you saying Dalvin Cooks. I I don't think that you could. I don't think you're going to have a problem. What's really cool, I just said the strength of running back position with the, the rookies that came in this year that have set the world on fire. I don't think you could have a hard time. I mean, you could you could argue five through ten, whereas this time last year it was the big three. Almost everybody else. There was a couple people behind him. We tried to. Re- we did our. Yeah. We did our mock it up before you fuck it up. Dynasty startup, and we had the second and third round littered with running backs, including Todd Gurley early, and tried to. T- hey guys, don't forget about these guys that are going to make yeah. your. That they'll win you championships faster than wide receivers will. And look what happened. We got some guy. I, yeah, but up there you had Melvin Gordon, Devonta Freeman. Sure. Um, and then Gurley, you know, was in there. And then, you know, Jordan Leonard Howard Burnett was our next guy. Jenner, you know, Howard was uh, in the backs that were already in the league. Howard was probably up in that. But, you know, Gurley obviously has separated from that pack. And now some of those rookies are arguably jumped ahead of him. I mean, you, you could argue for, for Kamara ahead of him. I, you know, if you wanted to there, you could argue for Kareem Hunt ahead of him if you wanted to there. Absolutely. And Dalvin Cook in front of him, you know. Yeah. So uh, it's just a, this is a really stacked class. And, and for the, you know, fact of. Leonard Fournette, I'm, I'm, he's my five as of right now at this moment in time. Uh, I don't have any problem having him there. I mean, hell, if Derrick Henry starts getting some run, maybe Derrick Henry will be ended up being my five yeah, at some point. Be, yeah, it could be in the top ten. I, Henry I, could I, shoot up some boards. Right. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I, with with at 19 points a game or something ridiculous like this, I mean, it's hard for me to tell you know for me to say that I wouldn't. I'm gonna take too many more guys before I take Alvin Kamara. 19 and a half points a game. Obviously, his situation is absolutely perfect for what he does, and kind of got into that in the preseason still before, you know, trying to point out that that second round pick that the Saints gave up to him was a lot of equity to move up for a running back. And they obviously had showed their hand and they had some plans, and it's worked out Nailed phenomenally. It. Yeah. They crushed. So, yeah, as far as Leonard Fournette goes, I mean, to me, I, I'll, I, I have no problem parking him at five right behind the big four. And but what's fun about what's what we have now is just like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are just awesome, yeah, fun right. running backs now. Give and me it's Dal- going to be a really fun debate. It when is, it is that time. absolutely to give me Dalvin Cook all day long. The give, great debate. Give me Dalvin Cook. Give me Alvin Kamara. I mean, Melvin Gordon has has been. I mean, just really, really, really consistently good this year. But it's just. He scares me a little bit. Volume, he scares sure. scares me a little bit. But and the passing game chops are pretty awesome. Yeah, it's 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 a fun it's a fun six through ten when you're ranking the running backs. Yeah, and it's it's really like there's so much luck that comes into this. Not only on a week to week basis, but especially a year long like Dalvin Cook, he's hurt. I mean, it could have happened to any of these cats. I mean, David Johnson went out what first week, second week. Yeah, you know, uh, the injury bug is 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 
you know, some people get hurt more than others, and then there's their, you know, you're going to get unlucky. A couple years in a row, couple two out of three years, Le'Veon Bell couldn't finish the season, but everybody knew he was the best running back in the league. Look at him right now. He's right. There's nobody better in fantasy football than Le'Veon Bell because David Johnson's hurt. Le'Veon Bell's, you know, it's just so much. It's so deep out there. But Fournette has obviously, his, for me, has cemented himself in that five, six, seven range, and and you can't go wrong. And let's say the Jaguars get some continuity with a coordinator and a head coach that sticks around, and and you know whether it's Bortles or somebody else, and even Bortles takes a step forward, or they get a quarterback who's maybe a little bit better than Bortles. Just this, you're just, you're seeing. I think you're seeing the floor right now. Exactly. For Wait. what is going on with Leonard Fournette? Right. Well, crazy. I mean, well said. I don't want to take it all the way back around and repeat everything you just said and what we've already said, but that's exactly right. You got a quarterback that came in as a down well, on do his luck. Anyway. <laughs> but I'm gonna get you know like, but and look at the wide receivers that he has to work with like Marquise Lee. He played good last year coming in. This, played good last year. His first year, he's able to be be uh, not hurt. And Allen Robinson, uh, you know, non-existent this the year. The next, the next coming of a great, great, you know, red zone threat, big time, eighteen hundred yard wide receiver. Boom, he's out early in the season. Like Fournette has no protection, you know, from the defense. There's nobody on the field protecting Fournette from a nine ten man box. It's not the quarterback. It's not any of his wide receivers. Yes, Marquise Lee has played good, but not one person outside of Leonard Fournette scares the defense when the Jags walk on the field, except no, for the Jags defense. All 11 guys know what they want to do and where they want to go, which yep. is why Bortles is having some success right now to wrap which this is whole thing back around. Which is exactly why Bortles Gurley didn't success. have any success last year. Bingo. You know, so the the limited, the, the limited 18 points a game that Leonard Fournette's been able to grind out over there is a nice looking freaking floor. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, crazy to think about. This is his floor. Well, I mean, that's a solid point. I'm sure that there's, you know, people who could argue against that this the is his only floor thing and that, that how much opportunity say, he's yeah. getting right now. We, you but know. then you go quality saw, versus quantity, and, and now he breaks off a little bit more. But even if there is, you know, a, a slight reduction in in quantity and the quality goes up, I don't think the reduction in quantity is going to be enough to be like, oh, well, all of a sudden he's just getting twelve or fifteen, yeah. like. It's not like going to bring in Peyton Manning in his right, you know, his right. glory days, and he's got two more years of just throwing it for seventy-eight touchdown passes. They're right. not going to just completely change philosophy. They were the doormat of the AFC, and now they brought in Coughlin and they brought in a, a philosophy to to do, you know, the, to pound the rock. They drafted Fournette as a number three pick in the draft. They ain't going to change their mind on this next year. Mm -mm. Guarantee it. You can lock up Leonard Fournette for as many carries as he can handle, as long as he can handle them. And if you don't know, now you know. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> and just like anybody else, I mean, the only the only downside you're going to call out is a potential injury risk. Right. But and, and, the, and the red flag you had, you know, at LSU and coming into the draft was my only slight reservation. But he's, I don't know, I don't know what the actual uh, games that he's missed because of this injury that everybody wants to keep talking about. And maybe he is a little banged up and not quite as explosive. But I don't think he's really missed very much time outside of practice time. Right. With this injury and with all the volume that he's getting. So, boom. I'm in. In. Holler at me. Top five. Dead or alive.